What's going on guys? Welcome back to the DX Gamer Show. My name is Mike, aka Operation DX, and welcome to episode number 17, which will be the final episode in this series, because it seems that interest in the series is rapidly dropping off the mountain. So it is time to close up shop, move on, and potentially do something else. All right, so I have actually recorded a whole bunch of footage, and we're going to go ahead and recap that in a quick five-minute session. We're not going to do a full-length episode. So my large cargo bay did get built, and it filled up very, very quickly as I expected it would after building the large biodome that I almost filled up with plants and, you know, just standard things like bioplastic. The large cargo bay filling up quickly was not really that much of a surprise to me because our smaller one was sitting at 96% and things were piling up, so it was uh, inevitable. So it was good that I built that larger cargo bay. Of course, I made some additions to the canteen, put a secondary food processor in there, and that totaled a number of three food processors so I could have uh, a bunch of meals. And then I experimented with some of the stuff that I never used, like plants and that sort of thing. Of course, I went ahead with the plan that I had put forward that I've talked about throughout the series by building the rec center. And like I said, if you build a smaller one, you can only do the pull-up bars, which kind of sucks. So you can put in these like space age looking treadmills and uh, the colonists got right to, right to work on those things. Of course, I had a couple of uh, pretty nasty strikes. Uh, this and one in particular killed uh, pretty much everybody in the large canteen. There was three people in there at the time. I had a couple more strikes on my power system. Not too big of a deal. And I was still going forward with the whole idea of trying to build a bed for every single colonist. So I continued to work on that. And then I did actually end up putting in a second mine, which kind of helped a little bit, but the workers were still kind of fumbly. I did let a few more workers inside of the colony to try to get things moving along a little bit faster, but I was never really sitting at a super high surplus of metals at all. And of course, I essentially followed through with my plan to build a nice resort style place for visitors to come. So I got the bar put into place and the rec center up and running and pretty much everything really went smoothly except for I wasn't really anticipating how much power the large landing pad actually takes. So the smaller one takes five and the larger one takes like 30 freaking three, which is a ton. But after I did get that second mine, my workers finally started really producing stuff. I was overproducing the raw metal and they finally got to work. And then my first tourist came in to come into my colony for some respite and they were all in need of certain various things. As I explained throughout the series, they pay you for the, after they're done doing what they need to do. What's kind of interesting is the ships kind of just sit on the landing pad. I didn't realize that until all the colonists are done pretty much doing what they're gonna do in your colony kind of thing. Unfortunately, in the recording that I did, I did not run into any invasions whatsoever at all. I did do a little bit of trading, never did get Yellowbot back, pretty sad about that, but um, I did actually build a fairly large robot army of pretty much the ones that carry around a bunch of stuff, and that helped a little bit, I guess, but... I don't know, I'm gonna have to check out things as newer patches come along for this game. Anyways, I did have a ton of fun playing this game, and I don't know, maybe uh, we'll see what happens for the future, but thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time, have a great day, and take care.